One of the really important things about being a counselor, mental health provider, um, drug and alcohol counselor, is, is wellness, own, counselor wellness, your own self wellness, um, because we are the tool. You know, we are what we, who we are as a person is really what we bring for, to the client. And so if we're not well, we don't have much to bring to the client. And so taking time off is huge. Um, making sure that you're, you know, not over scheduling yourself is a very important. You know, doing all those wellness things in, in your mind, body, and spirit that you need to do, whatever that is for you. And so taking time off, there's kind of a double-edged sword there. If you take time off, you lose, you lose clinical billable hours because um, nobody's paying you, really, in, in a private practice situation. If you're in an agency, they, you know, you do probably get paid days off. But, um, you know, for me, I'm in that private practice and so I don't, whenever I don't work, I don't bill and then I don't make money. So it's learning how to balance that with what is reasonable. Um, and so the other part of it though, taking time off, it is flexible. So I can set my schedule, which is really nice. Um, and in fact, I took kind of a, a big chunk of time off to go back to school. And so that was, um, that was, that was really um, rewarding just for me because part of my wellness is learning more. Um, and, you know, also I think part of the other part of wellness for me is, is spending time with family and, you know, developing my own spiritual kind of side. So I do take time off to do those kinds of things. You know, I, I think counselors have to, to help hold each other accountable as a profession to to do the wellness piece and, and take take care of each other. And part of that is doing like, um, for us in our practice, we have monthly meetings where we all get together and we have lunch and we talk about things that are going on and get caught up with each other's families and that kind of thing. Um, and so that that's really a good, you know, in the practice. You have to be very intentional about it there though. And I've worked other places where it's been more of an agency setting, where it's kind of your structured eight to five and you get a paycheck, you know, from the agency rather than just client billing kinds of things. And that was even better because we had one, one day a month where we called it a wellness day and we just, everybody took off. We went and we did a retreat, went to Camp Kamika one time and, you know, did swimming and had a little training and all kinds of hiking, kinds of fun things. So um, I think we just have to be really intentional about it. Um, and. I, as the like supervisor, I think that's important for them to, to make sure that's happening. So, so, so my growth in, in my career really is centered around just learning more and more and more. And I, I love education, I love to learn, so it's, it's, a, it's a great fit. In, in this field, in the healthcare field, just in general I think, and in the mental health care field, we're a relatively young profession uh, compar compared to some others, so we're still learning and discovering lots of things. And you know, for me to grow, getting the continuing education, go into training, staying current, learning techniques that are evidence-based that we know works. I think number one, that that motivates me. You know, the other thing that that I think motiv well motivates me or what I my growth is that after practicing for about 15 years, um, I decided it was time to take the next step in my career and um, start to train and be supervise more people and start to. Um, you know, get them into the field because I, I as a person can impact many people just myself, but if I can train more counselors to impact more people, it grows exponentially. And so, um, you know, I, I had done some adjunct teaching in the counselor education program at University of Nebraska Kearney and really fell in love with the idea of helping to train more counselors. And so for me that growth also included going back to school and getting a doctorate so that I could um, do more teaching and train more counselors.